This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Jog the front wheels and fully release the handbrake. Using the special adapter on the anti-theft wheel nuts, slacken the road wheel nuts half a turn. Position the jack head under the reinforced section of the sill and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the reinforced section of the sill. Fully unscrew the nuts and remove the road wheel. Undo the four retaining bolts. Then pull the hub and drum assembly from place. Note their fitted positions, then use brake cleaner and a soft brush to clean the brake components. Remove the shoe hold down springs using a pair of pliers and withdraw the hold down pins from the back plate. Pull the top of the shoe assembly from the wheel cylinder, taking care not to damage the rubber boots. To prevent the wheel cylinder pistons from being accidentally ejected, fit a suitable elastic band lengthways over the cylinder and pistons. Lever the lower edge of the brake shoes from the lower anchor. Pull the handbrake cable spring back from the operating lever on the rear of the trailing shoe. Then unhook the cable end from the cutout in the lever. Unhook the lower return spring from the shoes. Pull the leading shoe from the strut and brake shoe adjuster. Then unhook the upper return spring. Pull the adjustment strut to release from the trailing brake shoe and remove the strut support spring. Carefully peel away the rubber boots and check for fluid leakage from the cylinder. Renew as necessary. Using brake cleaner and a soft brush, clean the brake back plate. Apply small amounts of high melting point brake grease to the brake shoe contact points. Be careful not to get grease on any friction surfaces. Lubricate the sliding components of the brake shoe adjuster with a little high melting point brake grease, but leave the serrations on the eccentric cam clean. Refit the support spring to the strut, then hook the spring into place and locate the strut on the trailing shoe. Locate the end of the upper return spring in the hole in the trailing shoe and the corresponding hole in the leading shoe. Engage the end of the adjustment strut with the notch in the leading shoe. Refit the lower return spring. Before refitting, set the eccentric adjustment cam at its lowest position. Holding back the spring with pliers, feed the end of the handbrake cable into the slot in the lever on the trailing shoe. Maneuver the shoe assembly into place, engaging the lower ends of the shoes each side of the lower anchor. Remove the elastic band from the wheel cylinder, then taking care not to damage the rubber boots, locate the top of each shoe against the cylinder pistons. Insert the pins, then using pliers to compress them, slide the hold down pin springs into place. Ensure the springs are secure and the shoes are centrally located. Align the hub with the mounting holes, then maneuver the hub and drum assembly over the shoes. Refit the hub retaining bolts and tighten them to the specified torque. Refit the road wheel and lightly tighten the retaining nuts. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the road wheel nuts to the specified torque. Depress the brake pedal several times and operate the handbrake lever 
in order to operate the self-adjusting mechanism and set the shoes at their normal operating position.